you meet a man, always ask him very bluntly if he has a wife and or kids. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. Before I get into this video, I just want to thank you guys so, 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 so much for 5,000 subscribers, guys. I want you to understand that this is not just my achievement, but this is our achievement. I hope that you guys keep supporting, keep watching, and keep sharing so that our channel, okay, ours, I feel like at this point, it's an us thing. It's a we thing. You understand? Like, we are in this together. You see how when you tune in every Wednesday, we're connecting. You understand? It's me. It's you. It's us. Okay? Let's keep growing. Let's keep doing it big. Okay. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick story time about when somebody's husband was in my DMs calling me his addiction. Hey! And how I found out that this guy had a wife. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so this is what happened. You know, I wish I had tea, but I, <laughs> I don't. I have water, but it's far, so like, it's fine. We'll sip imaginary tea. We are drinking wines! Basically, there was this page that I followed and it had a lot, a lot, a lot of followers. It was one of those semi-meme pages, semi-personal pages. And again, I'm not going to go into any details about who it is and I please don't make any assumptions on who it is. But um, anyway, it was one of those pages. And me and the guy who ran the page, I don't know how we ended up speaking on the DMs. I think it's because I would reply uh, to stories and he'd reply to my stories, etc., etc. And you know that when you keep replying to stories, eventually you build like a, a mini Instagram connection type thing sometimes he would post my YouTube on his story and stuff which is great because he had a lot of followers and was gonna send people my way etc etc we developed a sort of friendship through the DMs he ended up saying things like you know I really want to get to know you and I'm really interested in you and you know what like I literally feel weird if we don't like exchange a conversation every day like I feel like you're my addiction and everything and on my part but it was not reciprocal I didn't feel the same way obviously because and Demazi I don't really know this person and quite frankly I'm not interested like I was not looking for a relationship or anything like that um, so it wasn't reciprocal but you know we got along very well so he would say things like that and I'd be like okay you know oh really thanks you know as girls in Jay when someone gives you a, a compliment that you do not feel the same way about if you don't reciprocate the feelings we always say things like oh really you're making me shy oh my gosh thanks oh my gosh you're lying <laughs> <laughs> anyway so you know i was giving those kinds of responses um and yeah but he was really pushing this chat and i was already living in america at the time and he was really pushing this chat and he's like when you come back like i'd really like for us to meet you know take you out on a date etc etc and one day okay this man told me that he's having people over i think it was like Easter or something along those lines. I'm not sure if it was Easter, but it was a holiday. You know, you know what I'm saying? Some kind of holiday. And he was like, I'm having people over at my house today. It's gonna be like a whole dinner and a meal. And I kid you not, guys, like listen, don't drag me, don't at me. But when he said that, I was like, I said, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Okay. This is a single man in my head because he never mentioned anything about having a wife or children or you know what I'm saying? Um, on my side, I'm assuming that if you're saying things like you're my addiction, I want to take you out on a date, etc, etc. I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're a single man because surely people's husbands have no business calling you addictions and telling you they want to take you out on dates, right? Right? Yeah, okay, great. Um, anyway, so he was having a dinner during like a holiday of sorts and I was like, and I literally stopped in my tracks. I was like, wait a minute, this is a single man who lives by himself and he's hosting a dinner with a bunch of people setting up tables and there's a bunch of food. Who, 
who's arranging this? Who's making the food? Who is literally like who's hosting this essentially? And the reason why this question came up is because for me growing up, when we would have dinners and bring people over and everything, it was always the women who were in the kitchen doing the work. And I'm not saying that women belong in the kitchen. I'm not saying this is what should be done or, or you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not saying any of that. So please don't assume I am. Um, but essentially what I'm saying is growing up, that's what I, you know, I know it to be. So I was like, hmm, I've never quite heard of a man being the one hosting dinners and he, you know he's doing this whole shebang by himself it is possible obviously there are men out there who do this but i'm just being honest about where my train of thinking was from this moment so i was like literally that is so unlikely like he has better chances of joining maybe his sister or family for dinner than him just like hosting everybody so you know at the end of the night when he was done with the dinner he was like yeah i had a great time and everything and i was like okay great but tell me um who who's preparing this food like who who put all of this together this man avoids my question and he replies to my story and he's like oh yeah by the way i really liked your video this week it was an interesting topic and so we went into that for a bit and i was like okay great that's done who is the one that put this whole thing together this man has the liver the audacity the small and large intestines hmm? the guts to ask me don't you think that men are able to do this stuff by themselves and you know it's not just women who cook etc etc my mind I was like are you kidding me like of course I don't believe women are the ones who belong in the kitchen but I was like yeah yeah sure whatever but who did it and after a little bit of wrestling eventually he's like uh oh uh, girl hell oh uh. my wife hey! look at you huh? when he said that I was like really really surprised and I was like so do you feel that it is appropriate as a married man to be saying things like you're my addiction and I want to take you out on a date and he was like yeah but like you know I didn't cheat or anything like that and I was like okay great but if your wife read these chats are you telling me she'd be happy like she would kiss you hold you cuddle you and be like love you babes or do you think that she'd be happy to even know me or meet me or whatever or you know you know what I'm saying essentially like do you think what you're doing is acceptable and he was just doing this little you know zigzag trying to find his way around it blah 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 and then he was like yeah but you know what like i'm just married to her by uh paper and i'm not happy Sultan, you are a liar and i blocked I wish i had the screenshots or the chats to show you but literally i've blocked this person because i have no business talking to people's husbands at all not even like I have no business being friends with somebody's why 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 would why would I want to be friends with somebody's husband randomly we're not colleagues we're not like you know what I'm saying we're not creators in working in the same space or we're not like a network so like why would I randomly on a Wednesday decide hey let me be friends with someone's husband what are me and someone's husband gonna talk about what do me and someone's husband have in common Eh? Like, literally. What? And I actually had someone say to me, you know, you should have kept them around because, like, they were, they were reposting your videos and you were going to get more views. Now you lose that. And I was like, listen, I do not need to get views or subscribers because somebody's husband wants to take advantage of me or thinks that it's okay to disrespect their wife through me. I will never degrade myself or sell myself because of views or subscribers. I would rather be with 200 subscribers literally forever than for me to give away my integrity, my dignity and to come in between people's marriages just for subscribers and views and whatever, please guys. But anyway, moral of the story is whenever you start talking to a man or a man shows interest in you guys and I've said this before in previous videos I say it all the time on my Instagram stories if you don't follow me on Instagram give me a follow because my content my story content is really nice engaging and funny and then overall my page is great but anyway I digress I always say this literally when you meet a man always ask him very bluntly if he has a wife and or kids. By the way, there's nothing wrong with having children 
obviously if he discloses them and you know they exist anyway when you're questioning about the kids also ask him is there anyone who claims you are the father of their child is there anyone who knows it to be true or maintains or has accused you of or has stated that you are the father of their children okay because they'll say no because they don't claim those kids and also another thing you guys might think i'm crazy but literally these things happen we've seen them happen if you meet a man anywhere outside of where he's from so if you meet a man in Joburg and he's from Limpopo or he's from KZN or you meet a man in South Africa who's from uh, Nigeria, Ghana, Ethiopia, America, wherever, always make sure that he doesn't have a wife and or kids hiding where he's from. In his village, in his home country, his hometown, you know what I'm saying? Always make sure they're not hiding a wife and or kids because guys niggas really be doing this ish for real The one thing that I find so disrespectful about men hiding wife and child a wife and children potentially And be willing to date you is these people are literally willing to ruin your life Someone's husband coming to talk to you flirt with you ask you out is a man who is saying i don't care about you and i'm willing to put you through the trenches through the worst i'm willing to ruin your life i'm willing to be a complication i don't care what anybody says that is not a man that has good intentions for you because everything about this relationship is going to hurt you so what are some of the signs that you can look out for to know that someone is a married man now guys i want you to know that i'm not an expert in this okay i'm not an expert but these are some of the things that i've learned about if you know of any more comment down below but these are just a few things so the first thing for you to pay attention to is the ring finger obviously duh check that there's no ring on the ring finger but not all men wear rings or some men will take their rings off so inspect the finger and see that there's no you know sometimes when a when a person wears a ring for a long time it can leave a little bit of a dent if that makes sense like you'll see the the, the, the ring was there check for that that one is not always reliable because again not every not every man wears a wedding ring the next thing is check their instagram their social media to see that there's no kid posted on the tl and if there is a kid posted on the tl find out is it his kid is it a niece is it a nephew so a lot of guys not all guys not all guys i hope you hear me not all guys but a good number of guys when they pose with kids they tend to use hashtag niece hashtag you know nephew hashtag my brother's uncle sister's babies you know uncle's brother's kid you know like they tend to specify to show but wait you know i just i want you to know that i'm cute with kids <laughs> but it's not mine so pay attention to stuff like that um but again if you go to the instagram and you see a kid question that is another thing is for some reason this man all never wants you to go to his house he has his own place but you're just never welcome there he always wants to meet you at your house or you guys must always go somewhere but you can never just meet at his house or leading to the next point when you do go to his house it's always at select hours that you guys can go you can never just stop by you can never just you know be free it's always at select hours that you can go and when you can go there are certain rooms that are locked and drawers that you can't open hey guys you might find that this man hides his wife's clothing you know what i'm saying along with being able to go to the house at certain hours does he have this thing where you can only call him at certain hours? Like you can't call him past eight o'clock, nine o'clock, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's another one because obviously the wife is home guys. It's time for the family time. It's time for the good times, for the vibes, for the babies. And you are not a part of that, so you can't call. So pay attention to like if he gives you hours for which you can call him, you know what I'm saying? Next thing that you can do is check what you are saved as on his phone. So if you can get to his phone, um, honestly guys, it's a good one. Like type in your number and see what you're saved as because you know you might be thinking you're going to be saved as Pindile, which is your name or you know my love baby baby my honey sweetie love sugar you know can think when you go through his phone you're saved as office manager 
And the last thing, this one may or may not work. Oh, by the way, all of these things may or may not work, by the way. Like, nobody's safe. The streets are dangerous. We know this. Bruh. Um, but the last thing is Oscar Round. If you know anyone who knows him or his friends, literally do some research Oscar Round. And again, this may or may not work because some of these gents have wives in their villages and literally their whole family knows and the family won't tell you. Nobody in his family will tell you. None of his friends will tell you. And this man has a whole entire wife and they'll let you fall in love they'll let you like be a god they'll even meet you call you my god our bride and everything and there's a whole entire wife there by the village that you just don't know about so those are just a few things that you can do to keep yourself safe again none of these things really guarantee you results the most important thing that you can do for yourself is literally to pray because god answers prayers god literally gives you the spirit of discernment god can expose what is hidden what is in the dark etc etc so the number one of all things obviously to pray and number two trust your gut woman your woman's intuition is so real trust your gut if you are a christian a spiritual person trust your spirit as well if it's giving you red flags and don't be afraid to ask questions don't be afraid to ask do you have a wife and kids don't be afraid to assert yourself because you guys are starting a life together right you're building something therefore you should never be afraid to speak to your partner about you know matters of your relationship and another thing is do not fall for those excuses do not fall for I wish I knew you before I was married please 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 him saying I wish I knew you before I was married is it gonna change the fact that he's married no. Him telling you things like, oh no, I'm going to leave my wife. If he's going to leave your wife, first of all, never encourage anyone to leave their marriage. But if he is going to leave his wife, then ma'am, you can wait. You can end the relationship and wait until his divorce is finalized for you to have that relationship. If he's really going to leave, then you can wait. Another thing is them selling the whole story of, you know, my wife is evil, she hates me, she doesn't take care of me, she doesn't love me, I'm so unhappy. Okay, Shab, if you're unhappy, it's your business. It's between you and your God. It's between you, your God, and your wife, and maybe your therapist, okay? You are not there to be someone's counselor, to be an aid to their marriage, to be a band-aid for whatever scars their marriage has. It is not your place, it is not your business. And to end of this video, guys, I just wanna say that literally it is never, ever acceptable to date a married man, to entertain a married man, even if it's just their attention, even if you're not dating, but for you to encourage and engage in their attention, it is literally never okay. Like the Bible says, who God brings together, let no man put asunder. Trust me, you don't wanna be the man, or you know, obviously the woman in this case, who tries to put asunder what God has put together. Because honestly, God answers prayers, and this woman, if she's a Christian especially, will be praying to God for her marriage and saying, God, whoever's in the way of my marriage, you know, like, answer them by fire, fight my battles, locate and destroy. She'll be making back to send her prayers and prayers asking God to, you know, fight for her and, you know, destroy this person who's in her marriage. All these prayers that she can be making. Can you imagine someone making those prayers and the one who's on the receiving end is you? Guys, let me, are you telling me you want to be cursed in your life because of someone's husband? Please guys, you need to love yourself more and enough to know that I deserve better. You deserve a man that is yours and yours alone. A man who will give you his time, his energy, a man who's willing to build with you. Not a man who splits his time between you and someone else. Now of course this only matters if you're a woman who cares because there are some women who are very okay and willing to deal with people's husbands because there's some kind of monetary benefit or whatever kind of benefit. Now if you're that kind of woman, that's between you and your God um, but guys honestly it is never the route to take what we need to understand is people who aim to deceive aim to deceive they don't care about your feelings what it's gonna do to you it's a very selfish act actually it's about them what makes them feel good what makes them happy you're just there to be used and and that's not what God made you for that's not what women are for we're not here to be used and abused by men we are people we are humans we deserve dignity and respect a future and a hope God knows the plans he has for us and baby girl the plan God has for you is not for you to be the side chick of an unfaithful man and that's on period anyway guys this video is actually longer than i anticipated it for it to be but this thing is a very serious thing guys women let's set ourselves free let's not get cursed we need to do what is best for us and also for our future generations but anyway if you are a side chick it's never too late to get out of it if you haven't checked if you has a wife and kids it's never too late to check baby baby that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys